are on our way to the airport now. Today is November 6th, end of one week holiday. And uh, we had a, a really nice vacation in Los Cabos. And um, the Hotel Rio uh, Palace was really great. Nice service, very clean. Uh, entertainment every night they had dancing and singing and all kind of entertainment really beautiful they have also six uh, restaurants a la carte and uh, two open buffets that you can go in and eat all kind of food from Japanese to Asian to Western, to uh, Hindu, Middle Eastern, uh, all kind, Greek food, beautiful. And uh, the only thing was uh, that the beach uh, was not uh, safe enough to get in. They had undertow and uh, on my first day I tried to just go near the water and right away it was like the moving sands my feet went deep into the water to my knees and then the next thing a wave came and hit me and put me down and uh, played with me to the right to the left in out i struggled to get up again luckily lee was my angel that day he, he was concerned about me so he called the lifeguard and as soon as I got up on my knees, they were both of them there giving me hands to get up and stand on my feet again. And after that, my breath was just gone and my strength, I felt so weak. So I just lie down on the beach on my chair for a while, uh, for a couple of hours before I felt my strength was coming back to me again. But uh, other than that, uh, the holiday was uh, excellent and we went one day to a city tour. The city tour used to include um, uh, the jewelry store, the uh, factory that makes glasses and we watch how they make it and the jewelry, how they implant the um, pearls and we usually go to the tequila factory and taste some uh, different flavors of tequilas and different ages. And then they usually take us to the church, they take us out for lunch, um, they take us to uh, the market. Uh, so that was the usual, but this time they added to the trip um, the boat cruise and that was a really excellent idea that they added it up it did make the day a bit longer but of course they're getting paid for it more but it was that much better enjoyable before it used to be two separate um, trips but now they have it uh, two in one and I'm sure also they have that trip also separately if people wants to spend more time in the boat and uh, to see the arch and it was really beautiful and it's really funny the guy said uh, that uh, they have uh, uh, the arch of the lovers and the other one next to it is the arch of the divorcee people <laughs> we all laughed about that and prior to that <clears throat> one of the guides were saying one of the lovers once also sometimes they call it the devilish arch because a woman and a man go in and then the devil is there the third and they come out from there and the woman is pregnant so there are some ideas for some people who wants to get pregnant maybe they should try the arch in los, in los cabos go in and uh see if the devil will be your third then you'll be able to make a baby <laughs> yeah it's funny
Okay, so um, I'll uh, say goodbye for now and uh, hopefully we'll be seeing you soon uh, in Canada. Here's the checkpoints here.